Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library. Converting infusion rates from micrograms per minute to mils per hour. Examples, part one. The order displayed shows that a patient is ordered glycerol trinitrate, 50 milligrams in 50 mils of 5% glucose to infuse at 150 micrograms per minute. The case notes, which are not displayed on the screen, tell you that the patient's weight is 73 kilograms. What rate of infusion in mils per hour should be administered via the syringe driver, rounding to one decimal place? This calculation should be undertaken in a series of steps in order to simplify it. Step 1. Convert the rate in micrograms per minute to a rate in micrograms per hour. We want to change to a unit of hours because the final rate required is mils per hour, not mils per minute. The rate in micrograms per hour equals a rate of 150 micrograms per minute multiplied by 60 minutes per hour, which gives 9,000 micrograms per hour. In the second step, calculate the concentration of the 50 milligrams of the glycerol trinitrate additive in the 50 mils of 5% glucose. This is equal to the quantity of glycerol trinitrate, which can be read from the order as 50 milligrams, divided by the volume of the IV fluid, which is 50 mils. This gives one milligram per mil. This concentration has been expressed in milligrams per mil and should be changed to micrograms per mil because the quantity in step two is expressed in micrograms rather than milligrams. To do this, multiply by 1,000 micrograms per milligram, giving a concentration of glycerol trinitrate in the IV fluid of 1,000 micrograms per mil. For every one mil of IV fluid being infused, the patient will be receiving 1,000 micrograms of glycerol trinitrate. The third and final step allows you to calculate the infusion rate in mils per hour by dividing the infusion rate in micrograms per hour by the concentration of the additive in the IV fluid in micrograms per mil. This is 9,000 micrograms per hour divided by 1,000 micrograms per mil, which is nine mils per hour. The infusion rate should be rounded to one decimal place and therefore the syringe driver should be set to deliver an infusion rate of 9 mils per hour.